YouTube, what's up, man? YouTube video. This is Salary Cap. This is Salary Cap Leaderboards. I don't think it's live yet for the last chance tournament, but just getting a vibe of playing Salary Cap again, playing all, all Madden. I wish all the game modes were all on all Madden. I don't see one person that argues and says, you know, I wish it was on all pro. And I think, honestly, the only reason the game is on all pro is because it's easier to tell the difference in the cards that you buy, and it kind of forces you to buy different cards. I think that's why they play mud head to head on all pro rather than all mad man. We've all grown up playing on all mad and that was the only mold, the only difficulty you could play on. And that's pretty much what I wish we could play on all the time. Here you go. Him threading a needle in front of Jamal Adams. That's a uh, 99 speed Jamal Adams to Tyreek Hill. A little bunch tight end action. I start this game running it, and then we see the gifting curse of Cam Chancellor. Yes, he wants to kill people and he does kill people. But sometimes I get a little too hype and try to hit stick the air. As I do on that first drive, we give up a touchdown on the first play. High ball over the middle. Moss drops that one. With the patch, you know, they really just try to decrease the high balls. As we throw the ball underneath the Julio, catch a spin right away. They try to decrease the high balls. You can see that little soft hit made Moss drop that one. So maybe that's part of the gameplay, the, the, you know, the patch, since, you know, they want to decrease aggressive catches. And they did right there on that one. Here we go. Great pass protection right there. As you guys know, man, check out my salary cap. You can check out the video before this one is my salary cap video. My offensive line is not great, but, boy, they're doing a good job. As we hit the wheel route right there to Randy Moss. Hit a spin. Most of the time, you bang the spin out, really, so you don't get hit and drop the ball. Go for a high ball to Moss. Overthrow from Vic. As you see, Vic overthrows a high ball. But a lot of times, I feel like everybody overthrows the high ball as we get sacked here on second and goal. Third and goal from the 15. This is pretty much third and field goal. Moss can't come up with the high ball for me. Bang. As you see, I got Moss, Calvin, and Julio. I play no games when it comes to having the goons on the outside, man. And that's what it's about. That's the way the game's played right now. I, I ran through 3-5 normal the first drive. I'm missing a little nickel normal. Try to, you know, up the heat on this bunch tight end. I mean, with, with the playbooks now, I use the New York, New York Giants on defense. But with the playbooks now, man, you really can go ahead and, you know, have pretty much every defense at your disposal. Dollar, three through five, nickel, normal, over G, three, four, whatever you want, you can have at your disposal. So I'll switch in between a bunch of different defenses against my opponent just to see which one gives them, the, you know, the, the most trouble. As you see, Donovan McNabb breaking out of Jadavian Clowney's sack, I believe, complete in the pass down to Randy Moss. First down. Throws underneath here to Terrell Owens. Terrell Owens is a bowling ball wide receiver. Definitely fights after the yard, after the catch. And here we go. He lasers this one into Shannon Sharp. Comes back to the ball in front of two people and scores a touchdown. So two touchdown drives. His first two drives, obviously, between nickel 335 and nickel normal, he did pretty well. Dump it off the girly. And, of course, you know he gets hit right there. Bang. Hit stick. Fumble. Now 14-3. I just fumbled the ball. We're going to go to Dollar, but he runs on Dollar right now. Now, I know the weakness of Dollar is the run, but if I'm going to stop the run, i got to be on my safety. And what I'll see here, I'll look at the icons of his wide receivers, I'll hold, and if the, their name goes away, that means they're going to motion him. So once I look up here, Tyreek Hill's name is away, now I go on my safety. He's going to motion snap a run. I move in with Cam Chancellor, click off, click back on, hit stick, Cam, bam, kills him. That's knowing he was going to motion the wide receiver over, knowing I had to be on my on my tight end, or not my tight end, knowing I had to be on Cam Chancellor to stop the run a little bit better, getting that hit stick fumble. That's why we put 87 cap Cam Chancellor there just to make plays just like that one. Todd Gurley still playing tight end for me, making plays in the passing game. 39 cap Todd Gurley really helps me out over here. High ball Randy Moss knocked away right there by 21. I believe that's Denzel Ward, number 21. I'm not sure. Here we go, hitting that post route over here to Calvin Johnson. Just do a regular, trying to hold wide. I mean, I think this game right now, this is what they want you to do. High ball in hella traffic. You catch those passes. If you throw the ball to where they can get hit sticked, they're going to get hit sticked and drop it. So that's pretty much why the high ball is so dominant. You can't really get hit on it. Just those, when I try to you know, throw a dot in traffic without high balling. Speaking of a dot, we see Julio Jones coming up with a big catch right there. It is Denzel Ward. Although he's fast, he doesn't have that same type of hit power as we get shedded right there when we're about to throw a dot touchdown. Next play, second and ten, we go high ball, Randy Moss. Look at this game. Get rid of the aggressive catches, the patch, and, and as you can see, it's just the, still the easiest way to move the ball. It's way easier to high ball, let them aggressive catch, than try to throw dots in traffic. 
So Randy Moss pretty much got down the field. And I see people not using Randy Moss or slandering Randy Moss. To me, he's still the best wide receiver in the game. 99 speed. Can go and get the ball. And there we go. All day for him right there with McNabb. Send the zone to go get him. Throws the ball away. Second and, second and 15 right here. Got to make some plays as we see him throw the ball underneath. Tyreek Hill. It's eight seconds left. He's going to call timeout. One play. He's got one play to get in the field goal range. I'm a little bit behind. I want Cam Chancellor to jump that. But Sean Taylor, on this team I had that super Sean Taylor, 100 cap, makes a play for me right here. And right before the half, you know, he's going to chuck it into traffic. And, of course, he's going to catch that pass. Wow, crazy. So that ended the second half. Here we go, high ball, first half. That's the downside. Michael Vick will overthrow that thing. First play of the second half, overthrow for a pick. That's what you get for high balling a lot. That's what I did. Here he goes. Throws right at Jalen Ramsey. We got to get a play. Go pick that. What he does right now is he flips that same play. Great job. You know, and that, that side, I have Myrick, the 20 cap Myrick from the Jaguars. On the other side, I had Ramsey. That's This team's a little bit weaker than the one I posted, but it, and he definitely found a weakness right there. Here we go, hitting a little playmaker over the middle to Calvin Johnson. Mixing my plays up well. This is block shed defense, man. Against these block shed defense, I really, really like to run play action passes. Almost come up with that pass, too. That would have been crazy from Calvin Johnson. But like I said, against these block shed defenses, I really like to run play action passes. It just really uh, helps my offensive lineman block better. I don't know why. I couldn't tell you. But just the time I get when I run play action as opposed to regular plays is unreal. Here we go again, a little smoke screen that I playmaker over here to Calvin Johnson. Underneath, just getting what I can. It's hard to hit stick the big Megatron. Falling down to the 31, man. I'm down by 11. I got to go ahead and make some plays here. Post route Calvin Johnson. Fighting, fighting some more. Get to the six-yard line. And you know what we're going to do once we get this close to the end zone. Randy Moss. One-hand catch falling on his back. I mean, he was wide open on that play. I could have do it right. But like I said, if I were to do it regular, he might have got hit stick. It might have bounced up. He might have not got his feet in. High ball everything, YouTube. I'm telling you guys. The high ball for some reason. That's why I have all these tall wide receivers. And, man, I wanted Cam Chancellor to jump that. Cam Chancellor, some balls just flying over his head. Pause. That he really didn't touch. But this one, Jamal Adams is going to touch that and take it away from the quarterback. Try to run back. Try to make some plays. Jamal Adams doesn't have quite that 82 spin. You need to get the good spin move. First and 10. I'm looking to take the lead here. Trying to go up top. Julio Jones. We don't get a rat catch animation. Jamal Adams was on Julio Jones right there. Next play, we're going to hit this little drag underneath to Who Jones. Get busy a little bit. Break one tackle. Fall forward animation. A new patch, man. Aggressive catch is even worse. Fall forward animation. It's still alive right here. Fall forward. Little drag gets me five yards instead of two. Here we go. Second and five here. We got to go up top. Wheel, wheel route. Wide open. When you're late, you're not going to knock the ball out of Randy Moss's hands. Wide open right there. Like I said, man, I could have do it regular, but Sean Taylor could have got a hit stick if I do it regular. Throw that thing high and hold wide, man. That's pretty much what Mad 19 is right now. Make sure you're loading up with the big body receivers. So Davion Clowney, he got a fall forward animation, but luckily he fell sideways right there. Bang, third and 19. Tries to fit it in, but Cam Chancellor breaks that one up. Almost thought he caught that in front of uh, 87 cap Cam Chancellor right there. So we're at that up by three. This is a drive. If I can score a touchdown here, I can end the game, especially with time left. Little scramble with Michael Vick right there. Like I said, if you're running block shed defense, I'm going to run play action. Here we go. That's another post route right there. I felt like he was open. Should have high balled it. Next play, we got a little hitch right here. Going to play maker him to the side. Little rat catch animation right in front of Jay, uh, Josh Jones. Just got to get a couple more first downs right here and we can win the game. Got to stay in bounds right here. Can't go out of bounds. That's going to take it down almost, almost halfway to the two-minute warning. A fall forward animation again. We're just trying to run the clock out here. A fall forward animation again. Soften up the defense a little bit so you can do something like this one time. Whoop! Back this way. No, sir. Excuse me. I'll go this way. Touchdown. We're up by 10. Under two minutes. That one's going to seal the game, man. I'm telling you. YouTube, I don't get enough credit for my run stick, man. That was dirty. Tough run right there. I used 26 cap Joe Mixon. He has 89 speed because I got the double sprinter going on. Sack right there. Cut little Mac. Once I went to this dollar defense and really started just give, sending a little bit of pressure, rushing forward with a spy, gave him a lot more trouble than the, the 335 or the nickel normal. As you see him there using his timeouts, throws a high ball. Cam Chancellor breaks it up, though. Got to come up with an interception. Fourth down. 
Really box the play up. Tries to throw the zig real late. Incomplete turnover on downs. That one's going to end the game. Just going to run it out here with Joe Mixon. Another fall forward animation. Although that one kind of went backwards. And we'll see that one twice because that's my quality editing skills that I wanted to show you guys. That run twice. But that will end the game, man. I'll tell you the patch. I was down in this game 21 to 10. Just an example of what the patch has done, man. The high balls are still there. You should still have the good wide receivers. And this fall forward animation is rapid right now. It's all over the place. So let me know what you guys think.